Hey there, me again. Uh, here I am bathing in some sunlight on this uh, very cold winter's morning, but uh, we're looking at a question here from Jason, and uh, he is uh, asking, we've uh, got a situation in the Department of Education where you um, no longer have access to any Chrome extension that you want, only approved ones are available and uh, you can request to have extensions approved but they will look fairly closely at what people are uh, requesting to be approved and they'll make a decision one way or the other. Uh, but anyway, Jason is saying that he, he requested to have Page Marker, which is a Chrome extension added to the um, to the Chrome extensions approved list. Uh, and he's saying that uh, yeah, you can get a free version, you need to pay $10 a month for the ability to use multiple colors, uh, all this sort of stuff. This is the um, actual extension that he's talking about. And uh, it allows you to basically uh, go to any web page and start drawing on it. Pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's called annotation, uh, is, is the feature that you normally see, or markup. Uh, the old Microsoft Edge browser used to do it really nicely, um, but then they moved to Edge Chromium, and now it's changed how you do exactly the same thing. So what I'm going to suggest to Jason is that he have a look, instead of using Google Chrome, to use Microsoft Edge Chromium browser. It, it is an amazing browser, and I'm actually in Edge Chromium right now. I, I browse uh, Yammer using Edge Chromium. But what can I do with it? So if I jump over here to, say, the Australian uh, Broadcasting Corporation, ABC website, so there's a lot of stuff on this page, as you can see. Uh, one big difference between Page Marker and what you can do with uh, Microsoft Edge's markup tool is Page Marker only works on the page that you can see. So if you are looking at a page like this and you start marking it up, um, that marking that you put on there is not going to stay connected to the bit that you marked. So if you scroll the page, it will stay where it is on the screen and different things will be marked up accordingly, uh, which is not a great thing. So what do you do with um, Microsoft Edge, you go up here to the three dots menu and there's something that says Web Capture. So it's really confusing as to what this actually is, but uh, Control Shift S is the shortcut. So I might actually use that, Control Shift S. And what it does is it brings this little pop up here and you can choose to capture an area, you can draw a box and then you can start marking that up or you can go capture full page and this is a really handy little feature. So if you go capture full page, what you've now got is the entire page in a little window that's popped up and you've got this little draw tool here. And you don't have to pay 10 bucks for yellow, you can choose whatever color you want, you can choose whatever thickness you want. Uh, so if I want to do green, I can do green and I can start marking up here and if I scroll down, that stays over the top of that. So I reckon Jason should be using the free web capture option that is in Microsoft Edge. So it's under the three dots menu. Uh, you can just close this when you don't want it. You can choose to save it if you want to. Uh, I don't want to save that. And it's in the three dots menu under web capture here or shortcut control shift S. Hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in the next video.